Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and once again, this uh, the purpose of this video here is just to save me some time, uh, or save me some time typing out my uh, my Final Fantasy XIV blog. Otherwise, the way it's looking right now, I'm pretty much I, if not for this, I'd probably have to type out this big monstrous essay on uh on how gnome vaults work. And again, I might have made one of these already, or I made I might have made one of these before, but I can't remember so I guess to kind of be on the safe side I'll go ahead and uh, make another one and um in the background I'm gonna have some uh, Japanese lo-fi music going so um copyright free so let me do this Sound check this real quick. Okay, so what I want to again, what I want to do is uh, I kind of want to show how gnome vaults work in this game. Now, let's see, uh, whenever uh, but yeah, I won't I won't be doing all sixty four of them. I'll be doing just maybe like a few or so. Just set up to show people how it works. But in battle, in battle, there's a there's a small random chance that a gnome will appear in that group. And uh, if you defeat, and when you win that battle, you'll get you'll get whatever that gnome drops. And and there's a fair there's a fair variety. Um, and you know they'll all drop various kinds of currency. Um, and sometimes. They'll also drop what are called vault keys. Now, with the exception of Gnome Weekend, which uh, which happened like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like a few days ago, most of the time the keys are uh, are are an even rarer drop. Like gnomes appear rarely, but uh, sometimes they drop uh, vault keys, which are even rarer. So, and then even more rare are uh, epic ones. So yeah, like these epic vault ones, these are like super rare ones, very rare drops. So. But any, anyway, like I was, like I was saying, and then um, when you do one of these, um, every room is gonna contain is gonna contain more gnomes. Um, in this case here, it's gonna be these treasure ones. Here, let me um, let me go ahead and do a demo on one. Pick the wrong group for this. Um, I'll I'll just make do. Yeah, cause uh, unlike other battles, you cannot back out of these. If you do, you just wasted a re you just wasted a key. So. I also forgot to turn my controller on. It's being a little slow on the uptake here. There we go. Let's always go and blow the board. Got lucky there. Super quick rundown of my group, just so people have an idea as to what I'm doing. You guys might have seen this one before, the Ocean Tome. It, 
blows up uh, four gems for each blue ally and elemental. And my guy is blue and an elemental, so that's. And then elemental and also blue, so basically they're uh, they're blowing up 16 gems. Er, yeah, 16. She's blue, so that's um 20. Use another solo that's blowing up 20 random gems on the board. Um, part of my main damp here. Yeah, this this isn't even the group that I wanted to take in here, but so I'll just show it anyway. She's the main damage dealer. Uh, she deals creates green and brown gems, deals true damage, meaning it ignores the armor, goes straight to the life. And I need a new controller because it just double tapped. It's been a major problem. Um, this little guy here, he pops out seven green gems and heals somebody at random. You guys might have seen this one before too. Um, curses everybody and turns all the green gems into doom skulls, meaning I can't just cast that ability willy nilly. I can now. Two down. but not quite. So, 24 gem keys. That's pretty rare. And the reward... The, the reward you get is pretty random, but also, you're going to get a lot of them. Like I said, 24 gem keys. These suckers are rare. Let's go ahead and do another. And this time, let's... Actually... Let me, um... This is another build that I made recently. And, uh, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. Because this, uh... This isn't that hard of a battle. Her. And believe it or not, I actually have this chick. I think I, I remember uh, looking up uh, looking up this new build. Like uh, I did a Google search, and this was one of the recommendations. And um, I figured, nah. If it's that important, if it's that important of a character, I probably don't have them. But no, I actually uh, looked her up, and there she is. Holy shit! shit. <laughs> Uh, throw her down here and basically what she does is everybody starts with 50% mana which that's a human that's a human um, of course it also fucks with this here too so I think there's a uh, yeah I think it was this one here Uh, basically, this build... I did a video about this yesterday, but it's centered around Tesla. You're dealing... Uh, again, you're dealing true damage, but it's boosted by armor. Our armor and theirs as well. And then, again, everybody starts at 50%. It also increases... She also increases armor to everybody. And uh, enchants them as well. Originally, I was planning on not being on here very long, but... Yeah. 
I'm trying to find, uh, see if there's any, uh, if there's a human in here or something. No. I doubt it'd be barbarian. Wild folk. Yeah. I want. I think Dervish is monster. Yeah. Not sure what Muck would be. Oh, uh, elf, really? Oracle, I think, a centaur. Yeah, I'm kind of strained from the path here. Oh, uh, human? Okay. Oh. Hey, is that the top? So he already starts with 50% then. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it here. Let me go back here again. So, yeah. That'll make him human. So, let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, and if this doesn't really work out, I'll probably try another. Go to one of my old uh, tried and true builds. So I'll do that first, and then, and then this build, this item here, Shield of Rescaya. Um. It gives an ally extra armor, boosted by all enemy attack, then also enrages and barriers them. Which will... Let's go ahead and put on her. 189. And let me... Let me look for some 4s and 5s. Or 4 and 5 gem matches, what it, is what I mean by that. Alright, there's one. And as you can tell here on the right side of the screen, the boost ratio of four for one, the boost is going to be 199. So. No, he got away. There we go. Like I said, the rewards are random. But what you do get, you get a lot of. I mean, 3K gold, 4,800. I've actually seen as much as 72,000 gold in one run, so. Um, let's, well, let's go ahead and do one more. And then. So let's go with a tried and true here. I really need to change his name, too. Ah, uh, maybe not. Water boys. They're all blue. Close enough. So. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is, um, same item. Same item as the last battle. And this time around, Kind of a variation on Queen Beatrix that I had, except um, doesn't deal as much damage. And um, 
He still creates green and brown, just like the Queen Bee does. But um, this one here is a, it's a random mix. So theoretically, you could have, it could, it could create 13 green gems and one single brown gem. And uh, but on the upside, it's a guaranteed extra turn. And he'll um, uh, whenever you match four or more gems, he'll disease somebody at random. Which means they only gain, they only gain half mana. Uh, got two of them. Then, Forest Troll, you guys might have seen this one before. Doubles the number of green gems on the board and then adds three more on top. Oh wait, this is my first time. And when it comes to these, there has to be at least 12 on the board. So there we go. They're both up. And they're both up again. Four gem keys, so yeah, a lot of loot. Okay, so that I just wanted to demonstrate that, just kind of show how uh, gnome vaults work, and it'll it'll save me some time typing out my blog post. But otherwise, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.